Aaron, it's Riley here. I need help with my kick flips. I can, I don't know, I just can't, I can't get the rotation right. And um, hope that you can help me out and hear some videos of what I can do and then my attempt in the kick flip. Hey man, so thanks a lot for sending your video. I really do appreciate it. Ollie was pretty good. Definitely could work on leveling that Ollie out a little bit more in the air. Um, that 180 right there was backside. Could also work on popping your uh, your 180 better, and then definitely just working on getting the pop shove it a little higher. As soon as these first two kickflip attempts, I was like, yeah, you definitely got to practice just those earlier tricks. Not that you can't do them, you're doing them good, but I want Thanks. to give you guys the idea that you you should have them mastered. Cool, so here we go. Flick that front foot, and your board turned about three quarters of the way. Now watch your front foot flick and your board turned so the good thing about this is is that you are not flicking down so very very well done on that you are flicking up and of the two attempts that you did flick your board they were pretty good you were actually flicking up the motion of your foot did not look too bad the first two attempts you completely missed the board and that can just be just a timing thing but yeah, I, I know it's like the kickflip is one of those things that's as soon as you get that, you just feel so accomplished. And you should. It's a difficult trick. It's not easy. It's definitely not easy at all. But uh, yeah, you have to get those previous tricks down. You have to get those previous tricks down. It's just so, so important. Not that you're not doing them, but I want you to have them mastered. Mastered, 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 mastered. So it would be good to be able to pop your ollies up higher and then to be able to get both your front and backside 180s down and get them nice and popped. And then the pop shove and the front shove. Don't leave any tricks out, just trust me. It's gonna make you have such a more difficult time learning how to do this kickflip that it's just not even worth it. Cool, so now that we've covered that, I will go over some points about the kickflip. And the main thing that you have to work on is that flick. You shouldn't even, at this stage in your skating, you shouldn't even be able to be trying to actually land it. Like, you got to improve your flick before you're even going to come close to landing it. So purposely step off with your back foot and practice this motion right here. It's that drag of the foot up, and then you pop your foot up. That is going to really, really help you out so much. You can actually stand still with all of your weight on your back foot and just continuously drag the foot up, pop your ankle. 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 And just do that over and over and over again until you just got it so comfortable that you can do it without even thinking about it. Like, I could do a kickflip in my sleep. I could do a kickflip blindfolded. I could do a kickflip while eating a burrito. It's just, you have to get those motions in your feet down so, like, your feet know what to do. It's one thing if you know what to do and you have watched these videos and you've kind of got the idea of what it is, but it's different. It's different transferring it from you know what the idea of how it works to actually putting it into practice and actually popping, flicking that front foot, and actually flicking that board and making it do that motion. It's very different. So yeah, stand still first and just practice dragging your foot up and then purposely step off your back foot and get it to spin. So watch this motion right here. I'll drag my toe up and then right now, I will begin to lift that toe up in the air and that's that pop up. And then do 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 catch with your back foot, boom. So you, I don't even, you're not even up to the point where you should be trying to land it. Just do those practice steps. Once you have those practice steps down, really, 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 really well, you'll be so comfortable spinning the board that you can do it without even thinking, and then you can take the full trick down. Cool, so all of the sequence of tricks that I go over that I mentioned in this video are fully, fully, fully covered in Skateboarding Made Simple. It is available as an iBook for iTunes, iPad, and your desktop computer, so you can get it there, or you can get it as a digital download through BrailleSkateboarding.com. 
There are, right now there are five different volumes, so go ahead and get all of them. They will help you. They are super detailed and they're super good. Thanks for your support.